Hi guys, this is Graham from Bainbridge Technologies. Today I'd just quickly like to touch on um, power supplies and monitoring. So with your power supply, it can either be like a, obviously uh, something that's powering um, your system in your car, caravan, boat, whatever. Generally it is a battery system um, or an AC uh, power supply. Now with a battery system, you obviously need to monitor your battery and your battery status to uh, give you an idea of A, how long you can stay off grid for um, if you don't have the means of charging it from an AC charger or a power supply. So when you're off grid, whether it be in a four wheel drive or a caravan or even in boats, so in, in, for instance, we basically mean that you're away from a 240 volt source for charging. So you are limited then to a couple of ways of charging your system, which would either be from a DC to DC charger from your engine of your vehicle um, or outboard motor in the case of a boat and at the same time solar panels as well. So it's great to have that but you really need the information from those devices to work out where you are in your power supply system in your um, vehicle. So by doing that, a simple little thing like this Victron um, monitoring system here, this is a BMV712. This is capable of monitoring two batteries or two different battery banks. Um, and it also has Bluetooth. It has a physical monitor, so, um, and it also has a shunt. Now the shunt is really important because that's what measures what goes in and what goes out of your battery as far as amps are concerned. And that's how it measures your state of charge, not just from the, the voltage. Um, because if you've got a lithium battery, for instance, you'll need to measure the amps, go, your, your, your battery needs to sink when you first put it in. If you've got a 100 amp hour battery, you sync it up, you've got a 100 amp hour battery, it uses that as a base. Then if you're pulling 20 amps out at night time from your, with your fridge, obviously you would be down to 80. So therefore then it will tell you that your battery is 80%. Um, so state of charge. So you need all these bits and pieces to be able to, to work that out. So having the shunt, it measures all the power going in, all the power going out. It can then from there with the algorithms that are built into the device, will work out how long it will take with the current rate that's going in till you get back to 100%. And at the same time, how long it will take to get down to zero or how long you've got left remaining if you have that load constantly on. So if you go and flick your um, microwave on or you, whether you've got uh, a um, induction cooktop, which are becoming very popular, those things pull a lot of current. So a 2000 watt induction cooker, for instance, is pulling around about 180 amps. So if you've only got a 100 amp hour battery, effectively you've only got 30 minutes and that battery would be pretty much completely flat. So if you're only gonna have it on for a short period of time, you really need to know how far you've gone and how much charge it's taken out of your battery. So that's the idea of having a battery monitoring system, not just a voltmeter, not just a shunt, it's a, it's a meter and a shunt with a lot more information. So if there's any more information that you do require on that, please don't hesitate to give us a call here at Bainbridge Technologies and uh, we'll be more than happy to, uh, to help you out. Anyway, until next time, bye for now.